Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. Today we're learning how to play a fun finger style arrangement of White Christmas. Really hope you enjoy. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you'd like the guitar tab for this, that's available down below. Just before we get into it, if you'd like to get early access to all of my lessons, 25% off tabs, and you want to try out any of my finger picking courses for free, then you can. You just got to join my newsletter, which you can sign up for by clicking this link or down in the description. You can sign up, it takes two seconds, you get all of that plus a whole lot more. So this one's great fun to play and it's not crazy hard. I've made it to be around the intermediate level. The first few bars go like this. So that's starting on a G chord, just hold down the bass note of a G chord, play that with the open second string, then the thumb's alternating a bit. So after that, you're gonna play the fourth string, then back to the sixth, and then you're gonna play the third string, and then the fourth string. So it's like one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's the first bar, and then we've got dreaming over. So there, still on a G chord, play the bass note, with the first fret on the second string okay and then the fourth string with the open second string and then you're going to play the third fret on the third string with the sixth string and then open second and fourth string so that's like and that's your g chord so here it is again And then it goes to an A minor seven. So hold down an A minor seven and we're gonna play strings two and five, then four, and then five, three, four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we've got this D7. Okay, so this D7 chord, I'm sure you know it, but just in case you don't, from the second string to the fifth string, we're playing third fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, okay? That's the chord, but we're going to start with the third string on the sixth fret, okay? So with your fingers held down like that, then play the third and the fifth string together, okay? And then you're going to play the uh, second and fourth string together. So like... But as soon as I play strings two and four, I bring my pinky back like... Because otherwise that note is going to kind of bleed over and really clash. So like... And then just play strings five, three, four, so. Okay, so so far. Christmas. And then we've got. So that's a C add nine. So I'm holding down the third fret on the second and fifth string. Okay, I'll play the bass notes of the fifth string, and then I'll play strings one, two, and three. Might want to roll your fingers there, just because it sounds nice. But then on the top string after that, we're playing the second fret and then the third fret. So like, okay, just like that. And then it's D7, so here I'm barring on the top three strings the fifth fret. Um, and that's really your starting point, but yeah, the chord would also be the seventh fret on the 
seventh fret on the second string. But anyway, with your fingers held down like that, you could just do the bar, play strings one and four, and then the melody continues. On the second string, you're going to play fret eight, seven, five, three. So all together. And I'll play it with, with my fingers like that. Okay, so. And then it goes back to G, so this note's going to tie over. Play the bass note of your G chord, then the fourth string, and then back to the sixth string, and then I go just to fill out the sound a bit. So that was, we played the 6th string, 4th string, 6th string, and then 3rd string, and then 1st fret on the 2nd string, and then back to just a normal G, play the 2nd string with the bass. Okay, so kind of tweaking that sus4 there, so... Just to fill out the sound a little bit. Then I'll play the fourth string, okay, and then on the second string, open, sorry, then on the third string it's open and then second fret. Okay, so once more. Just like the ones I used to know. One, two, three, and four, one. And then we've got this. So, there we're going G, then it's a G major 7, and then G7, but I'll talk you through it. So, just starting with the 3rd fret held down on the 6th string, I do use my thumb, but you absolutely don't have to. Um, but anyway, play that with strings 2 and 3, okay, then very lightly I'll strum the chord, just ever so lightly, roughly on strings 3 and 4, like, like that, and then you're going to bring in the 4th fret on the 4th string, and here, with a your fingers held down like that, I'll play strings 2, 3, 4 and 6, and then again a very light strum on the chord, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, and then this 4th fret goes down to the 3rd fret making it a G7, and again I'll play strings 2, 3, 4 and 6, so that's like, okay, so, Okay, then play the open top string, then bass, then third fret on the second string, and then again a very light strum now. So there we've gone. And then C. Okay, so on the C. I'm playing that. So just hold down a C, and there I was playing strings three and five. And then you could pick with your thumb if you want to the fourth string. I'll very lightly strum it. But really so gentle, really gently. And just do that twice. So three and five, and then the fourth string essentially. Like that, or doesn't matter. And then it goes to C minor, and all you have to do is make this second fret on the fourth string down to the first fret, and then I'll play strings three, four, and five. And then the third fret on the second string, and then down to the first fret on the second string. So like, okay. So you've gone. And then you've got. Okay, so that was a G. Play the second string open with the sixth string, then the fourth string, and then six, three, four. So that's not too bad. One, two, three, and four. And then it's E minor. So there, E minor, but also hold down the first fret on the second string, play that with the sixth string, and then just lift it off, play open second string with the fourth string. So 
Okay, and then it's the second fret on the third string with open sixth string. So, and then open second string with the fourth string. And that's going to go to an A minor, and you can just play the second, sorry, the, the third string, second fret there. So, like. Okay, and then we're on an A minor, play strings five, four, five, four, one, two, three, and. And then it's open top string. And then we go back to our D7 like this, and you're going to play the second string, which will, of course, be the third fret. So you've gone. that and then we just play strings five four five three four so from the G and that's once through the progression so so far we have played Once you get to that point, it all goes round again, exactly the same, but the ending's different. Christmas cut away. All the same so far, but once you get to there, instead of going here, you get the melody changes, so instead it's So that's the difference there. So you're on the G, G major 7, G7. Then it goes here. So that's just a C chord, but add the third fret on the top string. Okay, hold that down and I'll play strings, you know, one, two, three, and five. And then I'll strum, then I'll play the bass, and then I'll strum up down. So one, two, three, and four. And then C minor, so just take this um, full string second fret and flatten it like that. So that's the first fret. So we go from here. And you can just strum that chord. So. And then. We've got that. So on the third string, that's open to. Then it's G, so hold down a G chord, play the second string with the bass note. And then you can strum or pick, but either way you're going to play strings 3 and 4 on your G chord. Then E minor, just play the bass note, 6th string, then 2nd string, so... A minor 7, hold that down, play the 1st and 5th string together, then the 2nd, Okay. And then like a D, D7 with F sharp in the bass, so second fret on the third and sixth string, then fourth fret on the fourth string, and then to G, and you can play the bass note with the third string. So that's like... Okay, so from that G, G major 7, G7, you've gone. Okay, you can end there if you want to, or what I do is I'll play that, strings 3 and 6, then strum, and then bass, and then strum up, so like 1, 2, 3, 
and then I'll strum a C and then end on a G. So like there maybe. And there you go. That's how you play this fun little arrangement of White Christmas. That's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more Christmas songs arranged for fingerstyle guitar, then head over to sixdreamfingerpicking.com. We've got loads more of them over there for the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced player. So, you know, the link's in the description. Check it out. Have fun, and I'll see you again. Thanks so much.